The world needs affordable EVs more than ever as electric cars will play a big role in helping countries cut planet heating pollution. In this race, traditional automakers are struggling to adapt to the high financial costs, but it must be acknowledged that they're far behind Tesla and emerging rivals, particularly BYD of China. BYD has announced a price of $14,000 for their model, while Tesla is expecting a price of $25,000 next year. It's important to consider not only the price, but also the power and performance of the vehicle when it comes to market. So, what electric vehicle manufacturers not only leading the race in terms of price, but also asserting true power from within when manufacturing their vehicles? Let's find out in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Before we begin, please show your support by subscribing if you haven't already, and ring the bell so you won't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. Now, let's get started with today's content. How's the competition progressing regarding the pricing of the most economical electric cars globally? The main competitor to Tesla, BYD, has just unveiled an upgrade for its model, the BYD Dolphin Facelift, which could potentially emerge as a direct rival to Tesla's Model 2. This information was revealed on February 23rd, and the current price of the BYD Dolphin is almost 15% lower than the previous version. The base model is priced below $14,000, while the premium version, with a range of 260 miles, is priced below $18,000. Elon Musk, CEO of Tesla, also announced plans for an affordable electric car priced at $25,000, expected to be launched in 2025 under the name Model 2 or Redwood. The introduction of the BYD Dolphin with a price below $14,000 raises questions about whether the prices of both these models upon entering the U.S. market can be kept as initially promised. Assuming the $14,000 price of the BYD Dolphin's accurate, it signifies a significant price reduction and could give BYD a competitive edge against Tesla, with a price difference of up to $11,000. The impact of this figure not only affects the electric vehicle market, but also creates chaos for internal combustion engine manufacturers in pricing their electric and hybrid cars this year. The BYD Dolphin facelift promises not only an attractive price, but also comes with various improvements, from new design details to suspension and steering systems, as well as interior features. However, information suggests that this model will not be available in the Europe or North American markets at its current price. There are doubts that to enter these markets, the BYD Dolphin may need to undergo some modifications to comply with safety regulations. If we assume that the more expensive model will be prioritized for import, additional improvements in safety, performance upgrades, transportation, and customs duties are expected. However, with this, the price could exceed $25,000, seemingly putting it at a level comparable to Tesla's Redwood. Although the BYD Dolphins garnered more attention in the Australian market than in the U.S., with added taxes, the starting price could reach $25,000 or even close to $30,000 depending on state discount policies. Meanwhile, Elon Musk and Tesla's Redwood electric car face challenges in delivering the promised $25,000 price. However, with Tesla's leading position in production capacity and battery technology, along with a cost reduction strategy through shared components across models, Elon Musk is confident in introducing an appealingly priced car to the market. Tesla's Gigafactory, a massive battery production facility, has reduced battery costs by 50% since 2010. Tesla's also implementing advanced automation technology, aiming for a 25% increase in production efficiency in 2022. In addition to Tesla, both Ford and Volkswagen ID have committed to producing cars achieving the $25,000 price point, but this is expected to take one to three years to materialize. In the context of increasing interest in affordable electric cars, this competition is expected to intensify throughout the year. At the Wolf Research Conference, Ford CEO Jim Farley warned that the inability to compete with Chinese competitors could put 20 to 30% of a company's revenue at risk. Ford is focusing on developing smaller and more affordable electric models to compete in an increasingly competitive environment. Meanwhile, BYD is rapidly advancing its plan to build a factory in Mexico following Tesla's model to establish an export hub to the U.S. With the introduction of an electric car priced below $14,000, American automakers are definitely feeling the heat of increased competition. The race for prices of affordable electric cars is becoming more intense than ever, and this factor will determine the changes and victories in today's market. 
However, to be certain whether the price commitments below $25,000 from these major players will be upheld, we may have to wait another year for the answer. What do you think about the prices revealed by the American and Chinese manufacturers for their upcoming cars? And do you believe they'll stick to these prices? Share your opinions in the comments below. Why does the design of the affordable electric car vary between the two industry giants? Recognizing that pricing remains the decisive factor, if the designs are not attractive, people may still opt based on the price range. Let's delve deeper into the comparison of two car models to evaluate whether their designs are truly appealing and worth the wait. Firstly, the BYD Dolphin is slightly smaller than the Tesla Model 2. Specifically, the Dolphin's length is 4,125 millimeters compared to the Model 2's 4,267 millimeters. The Dolphin's width is 1,770 millimeters, while the Model 2 is wider at 1,799 millimeters. In terms of height, the Dolphin stands at 1,570 millimeters, whereas the Model 2 is 1,557 millimeters tall. An interesting point is that BYD has a longer wheelbase than the Tesla by 25 millimeters. The Dolphin's wheelbase is 2,700 millimeters, contrasting with the Model 2's 2,675 millimeters. The extended wheelbase contributes to the Dolphin's more spacious interior. On the flip side, the Redwood has a ground clearance 15 millimeters higher than the BYD Dolphin. Specifically, the Model 2's ground clearance is 140 millimeters compared to the Dolphin's 125 millimeters. The increased ground clearance allows the Model 2 to maneuver more easily on rough terrains. The design of the next generation predicted by Elon Musk to resemble the Model 3, albeit with a slightly smaller footprint, around 5-10% to reduction in scale, is expected to enhance agility and improve urban driving, particularly catering to buyers in densely populated urban environments. A Model 2 variant provides a glimpse into the advantages of its compact design. The exterior design details, as predicted by Automotive Magazines, suggest that the final car will feature a fully enclosed front grille, akin to the Model 3, with slim LED headlights, taillights, and a low-profile hood. The tall roof design helps the Redwood attract attention when navigating through intersections, complemented by a sleek rear spoiler to optimize aerodynamics. Moving on now to the potential differences in the interior, the predecessor BYD Dolphin's interior enhancements focus on refining the details of the front seats. They now come equipped with new features such as Type-C charging port with a 50-watt upgrade, a wireless charging dock, and joint seat ventilation. Overall, comfort is elevated with a symmetrical center console design that remains consistent, featuring a 5-inch LCD control panel for a beautiful and minimalist aesthetic. The dynamic interior is further complemented by a three-spoke multifunction steering wheel adorned with floral patterns. Regarding the central touchscreen display, the BYD Dolphin boasts a 12.8-inch screen, while the Tesla Model 2 outshines it with a larger 15-inch display. Looking at the aspect of luggage compartment volume, BYD provides 340 liters with seats up and expands to 1115 liters when seats are folded. In contrast, Tesla impresses with 384 liters with seats up and an even more impressive 1,270 liters when seats are folded. The BYD incorporates a diverse range of materials such as plastic, metal, and leather in both its exterior and interior. In contrast, the predicted materials for the Tesla include plastic, metal, and glass for the exterior, while the interior may feature vegan leather, plastic, and metal. With wheel sizes ranging from 16 to 17 inches, BYD Dolphin emphasizes a design that combines utility and aesthetics. On the other hand, Model 2 is expected to have larger wheels, ranging from 18 to 19 inches, enhancing not only the aesthetics but also the driving performance. Both models have the potential to integrate a panoramic sunroof, creating a bright and airy interior space and adding a touch of style and comfort to the driving experience. What distinguishes the operating range of Redwood and BYD Dolphin facelift in the race to the finish line? It's exciting to consider the possibility that the Model 2 could be equipped with Tesla's 246A battery. This improved format offers 5 times the energy, 6 times the power, and roughly a 16% increase in range, along with a significant reduction in weight. While the 4680 batteries have currently been deployed at Model Y AWD priced at $49,990 from the Tesla Gigafactory, Tesla has limited the range of the subsequent version to 270 miles to avoid overshadowing the more expensive long-range model. 
Similarly, Tesla might refrain from using the 4680 batteries exclusively in the Model 2 to avoid overshadowing the pricier Model 3, which has already lost some reputation. Instead, the affordable Tesla could rely on LFP chemistry, further reinforcing this hypothesis. The race between the BYD Dolphin and Tesla Model 2 extends beyond design and performance. It crucially involves their driving range. Both giants produce vehicles equipped with permanent magnet synchronous motors with a maximum power of 70 kilowatts and a max torque of 180 newton. The performance of these motors increases significantly at night with an output of up to 30 kilowatts and max torque of 290 newton, providing substantial flexibility. BYD's new models available with two battery options, a 32 kilowatt or 45 kilowatt battery, offering a range from 250 to 260 miles. BYD's also introduced a more powerful Dolphin Premium version in Australia, featuring a 60 kilowatt battery for a range of up to 427 kilometers, according to WLTP standards. This is roughly 10% higher than the EPA estimate in the United States. BYD is solidifying its position in the global market, maintaining higher prices compared to Tesla's electric vehicles predicted to emerge in the near future, despite BYD's domestic pricing staying competitive. Regarding the comparison with Tesla's Model 2, which is expected to use a 53-kilowatt LFP battery, predictions surround the supply of LFP batteries from cattle and special variants. Much speculation arises from potential disqualifications of the Model 2 Redwood from federal tax credits if it uses foreign origin batteries, leading to increased costs and potential challenges in achieving the announced $25,000 price tag. Nevertheless, positive news from the business period indicates Tesla's progress in establishing manufacturing facilities in the U.S. with equipment originating from China, particularly from cattle. The basic Model 3 has been EPA estimated to have a range of 272 miles, and if Model 2 maintains similar performance with a 53 kilowatt hour battery, it's expected to achieve an estimated range of 53 kilowatt hours. However, with a smaller size and advancements in battery technology, the acceleration capability of the BYD Dolphin could reach from 0 to 60 miles an hour in just 7 seconds. The next generation's flagship model from Tesla remains a secret, but the hope is that the Model 2 will be able to compete with similar performance within 5 seconds. How can the two giants in electric vehicle manufacturing contribute to the potential of affordable cars? Leading the electric vehicle industry, Tesla, the American electric powerhouse, has revolutionized its manufacturing process. Starting with the Gen 2, Tesla adopted a modular architecture focused on cost reduction. The introduction of mega casting and other innovations allowed Tesla to optimize the Model Y and Model 3 production costs, cutting them in half compared to the Model SX. The use of battery packs as structural components further reduced unnecessary structure-related expenses. Elon Musk's vision for Tesla's next-generation electric vehicles takes a step further by transforming the Gen 3 architecture into a true module. The goal is to manufacture various types and sizes of vehicles using the same architecture, and that will facilitate the creation of localized versions without altering the core design. The significant improvement lies in the segmentation of the car into multiple parts, streamlining simultaneous production. The optimized Gen 3 Model 2 architecture draws inspiration from the Cybertruck design, incorporating electronic control for components previously relying on traditional wiring and braking systems. The Cybertruck's individual assembly units with separate electronic control and communication connected through gigabit Ethernet, called Etherloop, exemplify this approach. Recent patents indicate Tesla's intention to integrate electrical wiring and communication into components, aiming for fewer or no wires to connect everything. To achieve this on a large scale, Tesla plans to implement a 48-volt architecture, wire-controlled braking, and other technologies under research. Some of those technologies have undergone testing with Cybertruck customers, and Tesla aims to make them more affordable and scale production to the max. Tesla recognizes that the current gigafactories are not efficient for manufacturing the Gen 3 architecture. Despite breakthroughs in production, existing gigafactories are not the perfect fit for the boxless car manufacturing process. Therefore, Tesla is exploring new factory layouts, with Gigatexas expected to be the first to implement this change, followed by other gigafactories. In contrast, BYD, known as the Sleeping Giant, competes head-to-head -head with Tesla and successfully deploys new energy vehicles, showcasing the reliability and benefits of electrification. 
BYD's iron phosphate battery technology focuses on safety and reliability, making it a key component of BYD's NEV product line. As the largest manufacturer of lithium iron phosphate LFP batteries, BYD meets that rising demand with LFP batteries projected to capture over 60% of the global electric battery market by 2024. The BYD Blade battery, a game changer in safety and battery density, is used across BYD's passenger vehicles, revolutionizing industry safety and battery density standards. The unique array structure of Blade battery cells provides over 50% more space efficiency than traditional block batteries. Rigorous safety tests prove the exceptional safety of BYD Blade batteries, even under severe damage, with temperatures as low as 30 to 60 degrees without emitting smoke or fire. BYD's growth and success stem from its commitment to innovation and outstanding technical development. With over 40,000 engineers, BYD designs efficient solutions for a brighter future. The company's unique control over the entire production chain, from raw materials to R&D, design, production, application, and recycling, positions BYD as the first and only automaker producing its drivetrain, battery, motor, and motor control system. Since 2020, BYD's manufactured blade battery lithium iron phosphate batteries for its own vehicles and other automakers like Toyota. The thin and elongated blade design maximizes space utilization within the battery, and according to BYD, it has a lower risk of catching fire even under severe damage. Reports from Germany suggest that Tesla may also be using BYD blade batteries in the production of the Model Y at the Berlin Gigafactory. However, in March 2023, Elon Musk denied reports claiming Tesla's termination of the collaboration with BYD on battery supply. Tesla and BYD, two leading players in the electric vehicle industry, have not only focused on advancement and performance, but also aimed to bring affordable electric cars to consumers. Models like the Tesla Model 2 and BYD Dolphin not only emphasize cost-effectiveness, but also widen the accessibility for the majority of consumers fostering a gradual transition from traditional fuel-powered vehicles to electric ones. When officially launching two affordable electric car models, who will be the game-changer in the electric vehicle industry? We hope you'll have the most relaxing feelings after watching this video. If you do, hit that like button and join our Tesla Car World community by subscribing to our channel. Hit the notification bell to stay tuned for any fantastic videos coming your way. Your feedback and time are highly appreciated. Thanks so much for watching, and we look forward to seeing you soon. Until then, stay safe, take care, and God bless.